better than a leg out. Better than a leg out. Matthew Jones is in position for a long range shot. He's with it now, Matthew Jones. Here goes the kick from Jones. Welcome to the John's Family Podcast for another week. This is our uh, second take. Uh, we've had our uh, dear friend Charlie, our dear dog Charlie, uh, just being groomed. I uh, groomed, sorry, being clipped. Uh, and, Even that's uh, not that good to hear. And yeah. she was actually uh, basically banging down the door <laughs> to come in. Now she's uh, sniffing around, everyone. She's having quite the morning. But, uh, yeah, welcome to the podcast. Uh, welcome to uh, Cooper. Welcome, Patricia. How are you doing, guys? Yeah, I'm good. You're going good? Brilliant. Are well, we going to now acknowledge that some number one is with us today? Well, Hallelujah. as I was about to get to, Patricia, is the fact that there was almost a boycott on our hands. People said unless Jack Johns made an appearance that he was missed last week, that uh, they weren't going to listen to the podcast. Good news, people. He's back. Jack Johns, welcome. Welcome, Thank you. mate. Thank you for that introduction. Well done. Um, um, first one of the year. dog sniff around like she's about to take a big shit in the middle oh, of the I studio. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, good. I had to take a quick stop at the uh, hospital last week. Just before we started, so uh, all good and well. Did you tell Dad what came out of your need today? Oh, no, we it, it, it's a, this is a family podcast. We can't. <laughs> oh, he's just sitting there and went, oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, I was squeezing it, as everyone tells you not to do, mm. uh, but I'm a squeezer. Um, and I squeezed a massive thorn out of my leg. Yeah. So to let so, my people clear, like Jack Johns fell into Rosebush. It's got not out, a rose had bush. Bush. Anyway, had Lawn an infection. Bush. Yeah. Uh, we went for, you had numerous x-rays, numerous numerous scans. They said there's nothing in there. And suddenly you do a squeeze and out it comes. Yeah, yeah. Guys, <laughs> can I just say something? Uh, there's nothing, I'd like your opinion on this. As you know, I, there's nothing I despise more than being treated like a, an infantile. Uh, but um, this week, uh, myself and uh, my work colleague, Brian Fletcher, we have just found out that his wife, Britt, and, of course, my wife, Patricia, unbeknownst to us, have booked to go to Vegas for uh, basically the opening round. Um, <sighs> Darling, you need Trish, not worry. Trish, you won't see us. Trish, why? Are you staying with him in the hotel room? I don't think so. Hang on a sec. So you've booked so. over. Yeah. You've booked to go over there. Yeah. I tell you, I know why. You, me and Fletch have been in cahoots. We know, like, why? You guys just want to keep an eye on us, don't you? Oh, yes, Matt. I love nothing more than keeping an eye on you. That's it's what so you're fun. going over there for. It's so fun. It's, you've heard the rumours mm. and the fact that I came home in such a terrible state mm. that you said I'm going over there. Mm. Yeah. I do. Is that actually yeah. why? No. Not at all. No. <laughs> no, no sure. So what do you want to do? Why not? A lot of my friends are going. Who else is going? Loads of people I know. Loads. More. Carry on. on. Then. Name, Spell them out. Name <laughs> more than one. Kim and Paul, who you had a photo with just today or maybe yesterday. And sorry, sorry, sorry. Man people, out there. people, that, Kim and Paul. Mm -hmm. They're very um, broad names. That, you know, that's the most common. A whole lot of Gold Coast um, league fraternity no, no, are going no, out no, there. No, no, no. I know for a fact. You girls are going over there to keep tabs on me and Fletcher. Let me just give you a little warning straight away. Aren't you going to right, be going over there working, man? We have. Aren't you working? You can, who said you can't mix business with pleasure? <laughs> right up. Me and Fletcher have built a certain reputation for ourselves over there. Yeah. We don't oh, want you. Oh, oh, we don't want. Oh, you, right. We don't want you guys arriving and creeping our style mm. and reputation. Do you really think you're left with a good reputation, Cobber? Brilliant mm. reputation. Mm. Mm. Okay. People like, yeah. can I, just I don't do think we'll be going to the same place as you'll be have visited or going to. <laughs> oh, Cobber. Expand. <laughs> well, I'd hope she wouldn't. Yeah. Thunder from down under. I yeah. think you should probably visit there. Thunder. Actually, yeah. Well, Jackie yeah. and um, so, Trish, Billy. You're giving, you're giving initial names. Good to listen to the listeners. Tell who Jackie and Billy are. Okay, Jackie and, who, and Billy, and they, they are the owners of Thunder uh, from down under. Yeah. You can use people's full name as well for the listeners. Oh, Jackie you, and Billy Cross. Yeah, yeah. good. It's, yeah. it's not introduction to kindergarten. Yeah, well, it yeah. To, they yeah. own it. But yeah. they've had it for about... Oh, 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. And we went over there. We went to the show. Awesome show. Yeah, I've been it to the show so before good. too. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, uh, what kind of show is it, Cobber? It's a, it's a strip show. It's a dance show. <laughs> it's a male... Is no, it it's, it's a male review. It's uh, it's not a strip show. Oh, mm. Sure, you of... might see men in G-strings, but you know... Do they the get the odd testicle just dropping out. No, there, no yeah. testes. Well, dude, I'd look... Who closely. likes a testicle? No one. Me? Do they <laughs> Do they get naked? Or is there no nudity at all? There's no nudity. Uh, down, not to a G, down to a G-string. How many yeah. times did you go There's lots of thrusting in faces. Only if you're caught up on stage. Yeah. Oh, like, did you get like up you on and stage? your friends. Sure did. 
How yeah. many times did you go? Be well, as, as we know, we've said before, Hindy was the guest. He they, they invited him in from Thunder from Down Under. And uh, he actually got up, did the, mate, all the Midwestern. He had the spray tan. All the Midwestern girls were going crazy. And then he looked over and grabbed Fletch by the head and gave his head a good uh, thrust. Sorry? Skull root. Yeah. Yeah. Is that <laughs> skull what it's root. Skull rooted him. Oh, no, the other, they actually called it a skull. <laughs> f- oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are we allowed podcast. to swear on this podcast? Matthew. It's a new year, I've forgotten. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, we can keep it, it out. out. You, know, but, you know, it's a family podcast. Got a bit of mail. not to, unless yeah. entirely necessary. Got yeah. a bit of mail on Vegas for you, people. Did you know? We've missed time this, Trish. In August, starting at Caesar's Palace, the Killers will put a. They will have a residency oh, at Caesar's from Palace, Vegas. Las Vegas. They are. Damn. Well, Brendan Flowers, the lead singer, he said it's pretty special because, as you said, they come from Samstown in in Vegas. Mm. But his mum worked at Caesar's Palace for forty years, and he wor- he oh, worked wow. as a bellhop for uh, for two years. In fact, he worked as a bellhop. Even where, after the first album came out, Hot Fuss, he and other members of the band still had jobs in Vegas, various mm. jobs. The drummer was a um, was a wedding photographer yeah. in Vegas when people are sort of they all a lot of them. I think they met each other through like um, Vegas, like uh, the the newspaper, newspaper, newspaper articles. Almost yeah. the last great band to meet via classifieds. Mm. Oh, what? What do you mean? Like they oh, put really? out? Yeah. You're saying they put an ad out? So I, think, needed- I think the drummer and Brandon Flowers knew each other, but the, I know the lead guitarist, the guy with the frizzy hair. I'm very, very sure they met him through a newspaper. Um, do you think like people a, don't do ad. it anymore? Don't you think it's just an online ad these yeah, days? Yeah, these like, days. Online, well, that's like a, marketplace. That's how Midnight Oil <laughs> found. Like Rob Hurst and Paul Magini put a thing in the paper that they were in the, in this. Might have been the Daily Telegraph put us a, uh, a little caption advertising. We are looking for a lead singer. Peter Mate, Garrett turned up. That was the way it used to be done. The it classifieds be, in the paper. You, you never know. It we, was so good. I tell you what. Next week, this Fun. week, coming up, I'll find the newspaper and I'll bring a. I'll bring the the classifieds in. See what we can find. Yeah. Do they? Still, do people still put them in? I'd say so. Yeah. I know that they put personals in. There is. They, they I know they do ads. that. They still have like personal escorts ads. and things. They, they used yeah. to call the classifieds. Yeah, they do. In the old oh, days, the rivers of gold. You know, pre-internet days, that was where you know, everything. Yeah, you know, real estate, everything where people everything, went to buy yeah. things. Mm. Yeah. While we're um, on uh, while we're on big stars, let mm. me just take this out because I know he's not American. He's Australian. Mm. This man, but uh, we had a big star surfing out the front of our house last week. Mm. Uh, Chris Hemsworth and brother Luke. We had a few stars there. Did you? Dancing Tom, with the Stars. Tommy Carroll. Tommy Carroll oh, was, Tommy well, was there. He was taking them out. He was teaching them how to... Uh, yeah, for, to surf. They right. were towing onto waves, I think. Yeah, T- and I, they know how to surf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, he was shooting some doco out there. We got word. We went out and said, g'day. Dad said, hey, let's let's be cool. Like Fonzie, we'll walk out there and we'll just act like we're going for a casual walk. And What are you guys doing down here, Chris and Luke? Well, I saw Tommy Carroll first of all. I went, hey, Tommy, how are you? <laughs> and they went, oh, hang on. The Hemsworths are here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we had a little yarn with them. But what we've actually got is, if you look under your seat, we've got a bit of audio that we want to play. Oh. Uh, now, you guys haven't you guys haven't heard this. No. If you look under your seats, there's the headphones. And uh, I'm going to play you some audio that we've got with the one and only Chris Hemsworth. Four, so to speak. Let me know once you get them on. I feel like Oprah with all these headphones under the seats. I and know. Gifts. I know. I was hoping for something better. Uh, well, beggars can't be choosers. Hold on to this. <laughs> Danny with Chris Hemsworth. Mate, uh, what are you doing down here at the moment? Hey, Coops, how are you? Uh, mate, just out here with a few of the boys, brother Luke and uh, Tommy Carroll, the old uh, two-time surf world champion. You're going to teach us how to tow in. This is uh, pretty hectic, a little bit of a swell uh, building up. This is your neck of the woods, huh? Yeah. Don't want to encroach on you, mate. Nah, huh? pretty gnarly out there. You should be able to handle it, though, because you, you are Thor. Well, uh, I suppose I'm a little sore this morning, but I should, <laughs> but I should be okay. Uh, yeah. hey, hey, but uh, no, good on you, mate. It's... Uh, uh, I love your work. Uh, I loved your interview with uh, Tate McRae. Hey? Fantastic. Yeah. Don't worry, mate. It'll only get better from here. <laughs> Have a good one. Gee. Wow. Amazing. Why, why does Liam Hensworth sound Chris. like... It's Chris Hensworth. Oh, sorry. Trish. Why does Chris Darryl Hensworth Summers? sound like Russell Crowe? Oh, well, look, it's, it's, the, it's the size. That, it's the, that Aussie yeah. deep voice, mate. Yeah. Good bloke, great mate. Deep, powerful. <laughs> Mm. Uh, very interesting. That good. It's good break to have him on the podcast. You know what I mean? It's a good, a bit, good piece of Exclusive. audio. Exclusive. Mm. Yeah, you've, uh, uh, you've had a big going on this week, Cobber, haven't you? You uh, this week you did Ticket Man yet again oh, for yeah. Colin Jackie O. I was actually quite impressed. Uh, How the impressed. mighty have fallen. Yeah. So g- g- give the listeners what you had actually had to do again. Yeah, I had to go out to Emu Plains uh, for Ticket Man. 
um, who's a gr- great hit. Like, people love him until they don't. But, like, <laughs> they dropped me out in Emu Plains. And it was the hottest day of the week. It was 38 degrees. Ooh. And uh, Oh, in that suit. In that suit. With all that padding. All that padding. Ooh. I was dripping sweat from my head to my anark. <laughs> and um, they released me out there. And I, they all these people come and they flooded and tackled me. Uh, but I've lacking like it was my first run. I've actually strained my calf, oh. um, which is, is not sounds compo? like you, doesn't it? Yeah, um, I got weak calves. My right calf is always so like gets strained. But I strain that because there's a couple. There's more ticket men coming up as well. well me, so I've got to be on. I hope they don't you get you out there to too much, Cobra, because I'm a bit worried. Like me and Matthew were listening in. And mm. it was more like heavy breathing man that morning. Yeah. It was, uh, I've got mail from a couple of KISS employees have tipped me in and they said they may have seen the almighty ticket man uh, spewing behind a tree <laughs> afterwards. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I, I did. Spew- yeah. How much running did you have to do? <laughs> Only like 150 meters probably I ran. But I, um, I hadn't eaten anything all morning. I'd only had a couple of coffees. Um, and then there were... Yeah, it was pretty embarrassing because there was like kids and like league supporters out there. Obviously, knew I was ticket man as a rugby league legend, and <laughs> I just started like I went behind this like group of bushes and started spewing <laughs> everywhere, and I was dripping in sweat at this stage. I'm in like this big muscle suit, mm. and I'm just booting behind the scenes. Tickets this, on yourself, man. And families were like driving past with their kids in the car, about to drop. They they'd come down oh to try no. to win the tickets, and then they're dropping their kids to school. Oh. And kids are poking their head. Hi, ticket man, and I'm just booting. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere into this bush oh. and um yeah i mean it wasn't good a couple of people also what, tried to what, fight what me. tickets were you given away pink so sorry sorry <laughs> so people actually chase you for pink tickets i'm, I'm wondering who were, who were the people were they kids <laughs> no they were like so no one under 18s can chase oh is that right pink. yeah so i, I like, thought by th- these days Pink would be playing at leagues clubs and workers clubs. No. Like <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> well, I just thought Oh, you've got no idea. I can imagine there are a few uh, characters that have been revved up by the missus early in the morning after they'd woke, woken yeah. up. Well, there were hundreds yeah. of... There were hun- like, there was nearly a, th- like a thousand people at this, oh, at really? this park. Yeah. <laughs> well, imagine there were tradies. Had, imagine you had Taylor Swift tickets. Yeah, I know. Well, imagine. Taylor's coming up. Hopefully, Ticket Man doesn't get a start. No, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully, get... they're all sold out. You will be murdered. Yeah, yeah. potentially. You'll they... need security. Yeah, well, there were security guards there because uh, some people was wanted those tickets bad. And uh, I was starting to get worried. I started walking towards security because they weren't doing anything. They were like smaller than Ticket Man. Um, but yeah, like the pink tickets did sort of make the crowd a bit hostile. And majority of them are men who are revved up by their wives, but there are a lot of women chasing as well. Really? Mm. Were there any, did you spot any guys that may have been using performance enhancing substances? Or even, yeah, like speed. Uh, Hence, hence performance. Or bugle. I did. Mm. There were some, like there were some that were like, you could tell Frost. dabble in it. I don't like crackheads? Like, got the white little cr- things on this corner <laughs> yeah. of their mouths. Like there are some that had symptoms of, I don't know whether they were on it then, like live, but yeah. they'd been on it like the night before or something. Mm. Mm. And well, the kid that chased me was that quick. I made a joke that he, because Kyle said, oh, only two. Oh, he all those won it, people for two tickets. He won it for his dad's, uh, broke. his dad had broken ribs, so he couldn't run, so he won it for his dad. Only one? Yeah, he, got, he tackled me. I just ended up falling into him, basically. I didn't even like... Is that the rule? They have to tackle The lactic you? acid got ticket. I was so tired and I seen this like kid right there and I just like ran Dropped. into him. And just, <laughs> <laughs> you surrendered yourself. Oh. You, I thought it was going to say there, yeah, he won him for his dad because his dad like had a life-threatening illness. Last time Don't I checked, broken ribs weren't a life-threatening illness. Yeah, but dad couldn't run because of that. Yeah. Mm. Do you gets. know what? I think they need to adjust it and maybe give ticket man, you know, like tags. Like tag when you play tag. My nose tag. Yeah, and you get the tag sweet. You don't need to tackle you. I, I think that yeah. Kyle and Jackie, Trish, I don't think that the Kyle and Jackie O show, which is the number one show in Australia, is going to look tag. for you for things to improve their radio. What's, yeah. what's the uh, health insurance? Oh, H&S. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's maybe it's an O H and S. Don't know if I'm insured. Yeah, <laughs> don't know if I'm insured. Uh, not sure, but hopefully I am. Do you think? Uh, do you think there are a couple of kids there that may aspire one day to be? Ticket man. People were getting pictures with me after. Really? And like people that Cute. I could tell, like they didn't. At one stage, I took my mask off because I was like, oh, they want tickets with Cooper. No. Nah. And, and like they were like, can you put your mask back down? Put it on. <laughs> put okay. it on. Put it on. And then like, there. And then a lady came up to me after and goes, oh, sorry, I didn't realize you used to be a football player. Can you get another one with your mask up? <laughs> and I was like, 
Have they got you doing anything this week for Valentine's Day? I don't think so. Oh, I wouldn't be able space. to disclose it even if I was. Oh, is that right? Confidentiality. Um, what are you boys thinking about Valentine's Day? What day is it? Is it Sunday? Wednesday. Oh, God. I'm thinking don't get flowers. I know. You'll I'm, get ripped don't, off, don't, mate. Don't be presumptuous. I wasn't going to. I was going to say I'm going to go down to the Beachic Services, have a beer with a few of my mates down there. Oh. What's your plans? I'll probably hang out with my girlfriends, actually. No, oh, hi. Yeah. Are you not spending it with Dad? Pardon? Do you not spend it with Dad? No, He's, not really. No, we don't bother. No. These days. Really? Have a bet. No. Isn't that sad? No. no. Nice. Oh, look, every day is Valentine's Day, Cooper. We'll just have a bet. Oh, he mate. doesn't need a day in the year to be told to buy me flowers. Mm. To be told. Are you, guys happy? Are you guys happy? Are we happy? Oh, we're like happy in your marriage. Together. It's hard. It's really... Well, let me put it this way. If I had my time again, would I be married to the same person? Mm. <laughs> it's interesting. When you say, are you I happy? No. It's like happiness is relative. Like at the moment, Trish is the only thing I probably know as far as marriage is concerned. So if I was... You had a little stint with someone else being married for a little bit. Maybe I'll say I'm hor- I'm just I'm so unhappy. I'm yeah. in fact borderline depressed. What was that, mm. what was that show that where you actually swapped wives? Wife wow. swap or wife swap? Yeah, no, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Thought that, that might be it uh, on that uh, topic. Yeah, um, mm. yeah. Have you, mate, remember there was that kid in the American family. There was that little kid that loved chicken nuggets. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, uh, mum and dad didn't, won't. But yeah, you're, you're only appealing to one person here. Come on, t- t- yeah. that's all right. Tell, tell us the story. story. I, I'm curious. Yeah, I am too. Well, they, they swapped over, uh, essentially, uh, a mother that was a bit more easygoing to a mother that was a bit more draconian um, on the Trish side. Mm. And uh, yeah, didn't like to give her kids. There was this kid that refused food. to eat anything but chicken nuggets, and you could say it didn't go down very well uh, with the rest of the family either. Mm. Uh, but, uh, Did he have sauce with it? What's your favourite? Just on that, what's your favourite sauce? Sweet and sour. Yeah. yeah, sweet and sweet sour. Sweet sour is good. They say in India they, they've got a curry sauce that they reckon is insane. Well, if it's like a katsu, yeah, Japanese I was just curry would be nice. Mm. Katsu Japanese curry would be so nice. Because oh, that's like almost chicken sweet. Chicken nuggies. Yeah. Mm. Maybe even like, what about tomato or barbecue sauce? With If, you, if you're only stuck... No. On a desert island with tomato or barbecue. barbecue. I'd rather, I'd, no, I'd rather have them. Well, what, with chicken nuggets? Yeah. Or, like, I'd have barbecue. them plain. You'd have them dry? Yeah. Oh, wow. So KFC yeah. salt some nuggets, underrated, and their barbecue is scrumdily umptious. Is that like a smoky barbecue? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Just yeah. going to let you know, Cobb, that foot, that disgusting foot is in, in shot, by the way. Oh, yeah. so Those toes, wow. like, yeah. they're like mangled. Oh, uh, and look at the underfoot. Yeah. 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 My That's like toes. scratching <laughs> bunions off his toes <laughs> right Just now. Just on the subject. <laughs> I, know, I don't know how I feel about this, the new photography where, like, our whole body's being shown. Yeah. You seem pretty comfortable it's with funny, it, I'm comfortable with uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Um, I, yeah, as our dog, uh, Charlie, is sort of scouting around, it seems to be suffering a little bit of anxiety at the she moment does. after being clipped and washed. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Jump up. Don't be scared. Groomed. Uh, but uh, I've got a story about dogs, people. Yeah. You'll love this. Your two favourite things, Trish, dogs in Italy. Do you know, in an Italian province at the moment, I think this is an unbelievable idea someone's come to, is dogs have to... Compulsory be chipped. Do you have to be, uh, uh, dogs and cats uh, I, have to be chipped? I believe they are meant yep. to be chipped. Well, it's compulsory there. Dogs are. are chipped, and at the same time, they take some of the DNA from the dog and then mark it, say that you know the dog is owned by Trish Johns at this address. Mm. And what they do is when they see a piece of dog shit on the ground, they will test it, test its DNA, and go to the owner, and that uh, owner is charged and fined. Are you, mate, that what? sounds like a complete waste. Of, of government resources? facilities, yeah, oh, they could be finding You're not hardened. wrong. They what could be they could what? be using that technology to find hardened criminals. Exactly. And instead, well, they do. Why, why not? Co- why not find they both? Do. Why not? If you've got the technology, broad brush. Where it. is this town? It's must a province. Be a pretty, I'll, I'll, must be a pretty I'll posh check it. Province. Is this true? Check it yeah. out. It's, a, it's absolutely it's true. Where did you get the people to check it out? It is absolutely true. My question to all of you is that: Do you ever throw a dummy? Never. Do you ever throw a dummy? What's a dummy? Oh, well, you get there like where the dog does his shit you and you pull you the bag out and you pretend to pick it up. Why do you, would you well, bother doing question, that? I don't ever, even... Do you pick up dog shit every single time when it does his shit? I would, no. Uh, the amount of times I've Charlie's shit like on a walk or even when we had our old dogs, Jimmy and Ellery, and I just... If it was in the front yard, I used to scoop it with a shovel into the bush. Mm. But I if it's that. if it was... Um, Fertilizer. Sorry to whoever's living at our old house. Hey. It's probably right. shit everywhere. Over the fence of the neighbours. Fossilised shit. If I'm walking, I no way. 
no I, even if there's people there I just keep, would keep walking that's really a, that's an offence yeah. that's is it that. is yeah. it legal it's, it's not only an offence it's offensive yeah I will it's say just I'll, disrespectful to I'll, everyone I'll else in the a, community I will say oh. I've thrown a few dummies sometimes you have a little look around no one's around <laughs> you just let it go once though I've gone with Char- it's happened a couple of times with Charlie and I've got no bags with me and um Charlie Lewis shit and there's people around and you go, Well, what are you gonna do? And I've got to pick it up with my hand. And then you gotta know where to put it, so you gotta walk to the around you are site disgusting. and just throw it away. No, you throw do it not. in the scrub. A leaf or a twig Do you or know something. what? Where we live, there's always people walking. I like, I remember one day I got stuck without one. Um, because she'd done I, I must have just had one bag left and she'd already we'd used it. And then you just ask the other dog walkers, and I've loaned them bags before. You just borrow bags. Sorry, Trish. Yeah, yeah, we loan them what? Hey, Trish, we'll, <laughs> we're about to take a break. We know what bags you're into. We'll take a oh. quick break, and uh, we'll come back and talk about Trish's ice addiction. Stop oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the throw on the dummy. I yeah. did it the other day. <laughs> I, even did, I even got the bag out, pretended to pick it up. Pretended to tie it and then put it back in my little sleeve. Well, people, oh, that, that? just letting people yeah. know yeah, that, that, was, uh, we that, was, that. Early. that was producer Gav yeah. who just came out with that little revela- bum, revelation. Bum. That's going to stay in. <laughs> uh, now let's go to a break. Confession. <laughs> <laughs> To catch all the action on video, don't forget to follow us on TikTok, YouTube, and all you need to do is search for the Maddie Johns Podcast. And now we've got an Instagram as well. So if you want to catch up on all the action, some good little clips, that's at Maddie Johns Podcast. Okay? You is everyone like, okay with that? You look like Dr. Evil. Yeah. <laughs> at the Maddie Johns Podcast, the freaking laser beam. <laughs> <laughs> One million. Oh, I feel the hair coming out of it. Yeah, yeah, she's shedding everywhere. Oh, oh she's shedding. Look at those pants God. too. Ugh. Yeah, mm-hmm. these pants need a wash. Uh, nasty reviews back, guys. Oh, love it. Yeah. So uh, after a lot of feedback last week, people wanted a little bit of hate on me. So uh, these are ones that I found and were sent to me after I made my retirement post. <laughs> so, <laughs> which you can imagine, a lot of lovely messages, lots of really nasty ones. Before you start that, isn't it funny when you put it out? I would say 90% of people just have a great laugh and say uh, it was funny. They understand what it is. You get the 10% of morons, right, who actually think you're being totally serious. Oh, f- there were ones that... That's, okay, that's one word for it. That's been mild. You're as bad as that. There were some that going... Some like message people message me going, How big is your ego <laughs> to, to put shit on a legend like Craig Bellamy and stuff? Oh like, my God. God's a joke. Okay, first one. I picked four here for you, little highlights. Oh my God. Uh, could have been one of the greats if he wasn't so shit, uh, which I like. They kind of so they kind like of get worse as you get on. F- that weak prick should have retired after under 16s, oh. uh, which was a little bit nasty. He was my under 16s coach. <laughs> um, just shout what, out to Gavilon. Yeah. Just what Gavilon. Just what we need. Another unfunny Johns on TV <laughs> laughing at his own jokes and f***ing up my weekend. Hashtag should have worn a Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> not bad. I don't mind that. Oh, that's he, a double sledge on me. Yeah. I think he was talking yeah, to Gaz. Really? Hey, just, just, I'll, I'll just say quickly I did wear a Jimmy, but unfortunately it broke. Yeah. Oh really? It's a little warning for kids out there. Don't use Jimmy's five years, uh, five years past their use by date. <laughs> okay, and this is my favourite because I thought this was someone standing up for me until it wasn't. Um, I think this criticism of Cooper Johns is not fair. I really liked watching Cooper Johns as a young player, especially if you consider he played most of his career blind and malnourished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Which I was reading that going, oh, this is good. Like, people are finally getting around me now that I've hung them up. Like, it's taken them, it's only taken them six years to get on my side. And uh, no. So, thanks for the hate. Keep it coming. Tell you what, mate, since you've, uh, since you've retired, geez, your bunda's getting a bit thicker. You might have to get, you might get around too. You might come make the comeback, I reckon. Yeah. I've actually lost weight on the scales, but I'm looking fatter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've become that. Uh, congratulations. You're becoming that skinny fat bloke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I look like. Yeah. Uh, the RSL's that way, bruh. Yeah. I look like the Grinch. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Out you of, do. Uh, <laughs> when he puts his yeah. hands behind his back. Yeah. Can I refer. If anyone's ever seen American Dad as well, I. Kenner always refers to me as the alien Roger. Out of oh, yeah, he's true. got like real skinny. He's got this massive head and like a real beer gut, mm. uh, which isn't nice to sort of get yeah, from put, your, your good, spouse. You're, devel- you're actually getting an ass too. As yeah, because well. you've got a tiny. Because I get, I have dad's ass. Like I've got yeah. dad's 
Dad's ass is almost inverted. Like it goes from back. He's, to he's got a. He's got, got a great ass. He's got what we at the night referred to as a Jake Clifford ass. No, where you ass, don't have a small ass. You have no ass. You both have like inverted asses. Like it goes mm. from your lower back straight to hamstring. I had. I was always complimented at my ass back in the day. Yeah, as you, you have older, a nice ass. Yeah, I, yeah, tell, not, I mean now. I'm not, yeah, I'm not Ray. Ha- don't compare me to Ray Hadley, who has actually his ass is in the minus. Ray has <laughs> to wear three belts, keep his pants. <laughs> is he actually? Yeah. Oh, stop yeah. That. yeah, he's got what, like Mick Jagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you before. We yeah. don't want hate from Ray. Oh, Ray's okay. He's an easy going <laughs> bloke. He don't Ray on your back, oh. so to speak. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. What's been happening? Like, what you've got to understand, people, is that now we are all in the household together, which poses its own problems. Challenges. So the other day I walked in and on the table I saw a giant parrot on a statue, <laughs> a bloodied baseball bat. Yes. And... An A3 picture of some buff tanned body with a whole sleeve tattoo and Cooper's head some on super in, yeah. superimposed on it. And I'm like, what is going on here? Have I walked in? What is this? Do asshole? you think they were all connected? I don't know. I, I just Wait, walked in and went. Sorry, the baseball bat. What, what are you talking about? Why was there a bloody baseball a bat? A bloody baseball bat. Oh, it's the Walking Dead one, Cobber, from years ago. Years ago at Triple M, we had a promo of the Walking Dead and they gave us a bloody baseball bat. Mm. And it was funny one day, MG was driving over the Harbour Bridge and a bloke cut him off and MG chased him all the way to Penrith with the bloody baseball bat out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Yeah, Imagine why, MG coming out here. That would be frightening. Why is ours out is my question. I don't even know where it's been. And suddenly it's appeared. I've always got it by the bedside. You just don't know. If people break into the house, you don't know. Better to be armed and ready. Yeah, it's perfect. It's like, you know, we've got our bunker downstairs that I've just built, our bomb bunker. <laughs> yeah. You've got, um, do you ever, like, is that the only use for it? The baseball bat? <laughs> oh, Cooper, be better than that, mate. What? Listen, just because you started on the Kyle and Jackie O show, what? don't start trying to be a shock jock, mate. I know about? what you're getting at. You just get back in your box. No, I was meaning like a doorstop or things like that. Mm. Like, is there any other use? Because you're handy. Mm. Well, by the sound of it, thinking that you'd use that as a doorstop, you probably have as much handiness as him. Mm. How would you use a baseball bat as a doorstop? Nicely put, Trish. We'll just move Uh, on. Okay, let's move on. uh, We we do have, Jack has one more topic of discussion that he wanted me to segue him into. The Powerball was last week. Mm. Oh, don't talk about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we wanted to have a chat and see what you would do. If you were the person to win two hundred million, you got the call straight away. I'd love to know what your first move is the, the next forty eight hours and who you tell, if anyone. Mm. Uh, well, Good that, point. I think a really crucial thing, quite serious, if you won that type of money, you shouldn't tell a soul. Yeah, you shouldn't tell a soul. I, I get amazed when people allow themselves to get a photo on the paper. Yeah, and crazy. You're leading yourself open to. All sorts of extortion and kidnapping. It's not and only that, so it's, so it's forth. family, unfortunately. Family uh, have great expectations. I went to school with a girl who back in the day won a million dollars in Lotto like, and it? would have been early 20s if that. And she ended up having like severe psychological um, problems because of her family. Would, mm. you, would you tell us? Uh, no way in the world. Not any of us? Nah. Me? Especially not you. Yeah, me is. yeah. Not you. I wouldn't tell you. Who would be do the last one in the family? They reckon yeah. there's really awkward things that happen, like very simple social things. When you go out with friends, mm-hmm. you know, you've won $20 million, they say, and you go for dinner Pay. and you're sitting there and you go, if you say, no, no, I'm paying, they sort of get sometimes, some people get a little bit Offended insulted, by that, yeah. And, but then they're sitting there watching you and... If all of a sudden you're going to split the bill and you're not going to pay for it all, then some of them go away and say, oh, Tied what about them? Can you believe that? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's would, lose, lose. People would just come out of the woodwork. It'd be mm. very Nothing hard to change. define who are your real friends No, nah, it not. shouldn't change. Unless it unless they say, hey, like, unless it's preordained, hey, I want to take everyone out for a nice dinner, you know, on me. Unless you say it on that. Yeah. And you get there, should always just offer. Don't, it's not, shouldn't just be, I, like, I went to dinner with someone the other day. Who, I don't want to name. Well, who you it should was, always offer. But they they were on they're on a lot more cash than me, and it's it's well documented. But I made I shouted them because I didn't want them to feel like I was using them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and that's exactly and right. Like, and I, and Brandon, the top of it. And Brandon and Smith I, allowed you to pay. You know, it wasn't what branded, a tight ass But it was weird. Like when I took my wallet out and you know dusted all the dust and cobwebs <laughs> off them. 
Uh, they they took it very grateful. They liked it. Yeah. It's a little tip for everyone out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you know, I actually um, spoke to someone last year who won a lot lottery or a lotto a few years ago. I'm not telling you. Go on then. (laughs) Very humble people. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. And they didn't tell anyone. Well, they told you. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 yeah. no. I know from a third party. Sure. Oh, so it sounds like they've told sure, a few sure. people. Sounds well, like someone else is making up. No, some but I, I don't think people realise potentially how much they might have won. But the Jeez, interesting Jewish. thing that they said was uh, when they were when they got the call, they were asked if they were on their own, and they asked if they were sitting down. Mm. Yeah. Which is quite interesting. I think I think it might have been a lot of money. I don't know how much it was, but I think it was a lot. They actually said, you, you, okay, are you on your own? Yep. Are you sitting down? Yep. Got some news. Yeah, if, you've, won, your... you've won $200 million. Oh, wow. <laughs> Only joking. Uh, a loved one has just died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Are you sitting down? Is your refrigerator running? Yes. You better go catch it. Oh, that old one. <laughs> Oh. That old zinger. Oh. Uh, guys, you mentioned your Gold Coast friends before. I worry about the uh, state of the Gold Coast at the Why? moment. In fact, some of the mindsets. A fellow on the Gold Coast, a local named Ian Grace, he was, uh, he's was he been on TV speaking about this. He's very passionate about this subject. He is lobbying the mayor of the Gold Coast, Tom Tate. I love Tommy Tate. To get G-strings banned from all the beaches. On the Gold Coast. Wow. Can't imagine that he would be says popular. It, it makes him feel uncomfortable. Is oh. this, are they male G strings or female mm. G strings? Female G strings. Oh. oh, mate, yes. they're everywhere now. But males they're, can they're like, everywhere. If, males as well. Right? I suppose. Well, I suppose like, he's just everywhere. come out and said that it's females. I would say, Trish, you back me up in the day. In the 80s and 90s, that's no, fine, Coop. Just hop on your phone. It's, no, he's it's, checking something. Oh, he's checking. Fact, okay, checking. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Good, good. You go Fact, ahead, uh, <laughs> it, um, Someone needs to. So back in the 80s and 90s, if a woman was on the beach with a G-string, people would go, holy dooly. Yeah. It would actually, our heads would turn everywhere. Where these days, I mean, Brazil was the place of, the, not, not only Brazil, of the G-string. America. They, they, you really? could. Yeah, massive. Really, G-strings in America. Don't show your boobs, but their asses have been hanging out for years. Like yeah. Miami way, you're talking No. About? Hawaii, California. Mm. Yeah, G-strings, right. they've, so they've been there for years. We've, it's just been yeah, from in the, the last 10 years a phenomenon in, in Australia, and this guy wants it booted. How old uh, is He this said guy? that if he goes and does business with someone, a woman, and she had bit words to the effect of that she was wearing a G-string, he would find it hard to... To take her serious, sorry. Worse to that extent. What do you mean? What, when's he? Where's he doing business that someone's turning up in a G string? No, no, no. But if he said, what if, he, sort of if he looked he at in? you down the beach and went, "Oh, she's wearing a G string. This makes me uncomfortable." Then all of a sudden they have a high powered meeting. And you walk in, he'd find it hard to take you serious. I'm put like I'm. I'm sort of words you know to those effects. You know, I'm going to speak for the women here. It's nice to have a bra and bum. Mm. Yeah, tan See, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, you don't want tan yeah. lines. Yeah. Yeah. And the last thing and I want, and I'm, you know, like res- completely respectful in when I'm saying this. When and Ken you have is, a bum now too. When Ken is getting <laughs> dressed, sometimes I'll go and, you know, have a look at her. Uh, and I don't like seeing large tan lines. Like if she's wearing a larger bikini, like, you know, that's covering her bottom and the tan line's big. I don't like that. And I would prefer a smaller well, tan line. And aren't real- you, aren't you <laughs> just a... F- piece of work. <laughs> and the reality <laughs> is, are you? all it is, is hiding more skin. The cheeks. It's just, it's just the cheeks. It, it doesn't really matter. Guys, 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 it's guys. hiding the guys, asshole. Guys, yeah, just we don't want to see asshole, for one but, minute. you know. Don't yell at me. I'm in favour of the juice string. I have no problem with the juice string. We need to know more about Why this bloke. Why have I suddenly become the enemy? I'm just delivering the news. Oh. <laughs> mm. Well, that's what I mean. You're, what are you, you've got, you've got sway. You've got sway in the media. What can you? I've said a bloke went on Sunrise this morning and said that if they banned it, he would march the streets of the Gold Coast in a G string. <laughs> I've got better it. things to do with my time, and I'll just back on that. Like I'm, I'm sure with the first Sunday night show of the year, I come on and people are hanging for the football. I go, can I just make a point uh, about G <laughs> yeah. strings on the Gold Coast? People mm. would love that. I think yeah, so. Too. And, it looked, yeah. and it looked poor with your inverted ass as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Thanks very much, yeah. mate. Hey, just. Just keep giving it to me and Ray, and we'll, you'll see what's coming for you. Yeah? <laughs> Even if you are on the jo- Kyle and Jackie O show, that will not protect you. Mm. <laughs> okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna take a break on that note uh, while Trish just uh, adjusts the g string, and uh, we'll be straight back. 
Hey, and welcome back, everybody. Hey, um, great feedback this week. Now, Grant, very particular, picked up that Matt believes that Moe is in Tasmania. Uh-uh, Matthew, it's in Victoria. Truly. I nice fact-checked that myself. Oh, Moe. Well, I'm just trying to think of, it must be Moe, well, what was the racetrack in Tasmania that back in the day, up until the 90s, you could not place a bet in on a Tasmanian Horse race. I'm trying to think what the place is. Why don't you have Hobart? a little think about that and hey? find out about it? No, it wasn't well, Hobart. You can no, find no, out next a... week. All right. <laughs> Maurice sends it through. Launceston. 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 No, it's not. Max. Sure? No. no. Maurice, a proud ben... Bendigonian? Bendigonian from Bendigo because they're the number one swearers, um, according to that poll that I presented last week, pointed out that some years ago there was a scientific finding that studies showed swearing actually showed more intelligence, a higher level intelligence. Funnily, um, I've never really heard of the source before, a site called Science Alert. I don't know. Might be some yeah. kids. So I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, I don't um, know. I'm not sure about that one. I think yeah, he's, many yeah. messages from Ooh. people agreeing for Fijian and Melanesian people are amongst the friendliest in the world. Yeah. yeah. i seen uh, – we actually got tagged in a post from a Fijian – History? Yeah, Fijian yeah. History Instagram page wrapping you, Dad, for, for yeah, it was very applauding nice. you, saying, Muddy John's – said Fiji well, is the nicest place on earth. Well, the there is, people. No, the people. The people I, I are would, friendliest. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. Yeah. It's just, and I, they I are. think it's, it's absolutely true. Uh, uh, and finally. <laughs> it's really fun. Now trying we're, to figure out which Tasmanian. Yeah, yeah, Matt's trying still trying to Google. trying to prove really myself know. correct. Uh, By the way, Tasmanians are all incredibly friendly people. Uh, uh, incredibly uh, friendly. It's, and that's mainly because they're all related. Is that Oh, ho, ho. tell you what, there's a lot of hate out there. They don't like that, mate. The fans <laughs> don't like it. Mm. And I had someone say over the weekend that they love listening to the podcast. And I said, oh, what do you like about it? She goes, I listen to it when I ha- whenever I uh, have anxiety. And I've heard that from a number of people. And I said, what, how does that help Makes them you? feel good about themselves. Already. Yeah, yeah, well, she said, she said it's just really wholesome. And I went, are you serious? Awesome, isn't what are they watching? Evil Dead every morning? <laughs> <laughs> sure. But I thought she that was She must go, really mate. Sweet. I thought I was f***ed up. Listen to those. <laughs> yeah. Workers. Don't you remember? I think it was last year or potentially the year before. We had a girl from Queensland um, who must have suffered agoraphobia, which you don't like to leave the house. Mm. And she started leaving the house listening I've, to our podcast. podcast. Yeah. I've, heard, I've heard people um, who really, now live in Newcastle that great. were living in Victoria. Come up to me all the time and say, "With the first year, the first year we did it, 2020, yeah. uh, as we went into the first lockdown, they were like religiously listening to it." Yeah, which is kind of funny. We have become, you know, what we I, should. I think Religion. because people yeah. were separated um, from their families. Mm. I think you know that sh- that was a lot of the feedback I was getting there. We should, um, we should maybe do like a partnership with like Goldwyn Supermax and do a live show maybe in the Supermax. What? Why is that good? People well, I just feel their like families. maybe that might. Oh no, but they're yeah, but they're away from their families. But it's also if it's oh. curing people's anxiety and things like that. Who knows what else it might cure? Like it might cure that. Yeah, I, I, I tell you what, mate. <laughs> what we'll do is do you know we'll what? stay kind of here like and you'll be. I do. I do. How about, actually, how about this, right? We'll stay here and we'll send you to the Goldman Supermax. I'd yeah. go with and you, you can do. You can I wouldn't do let it. you go on your own. Yeah. Oh, mate. I tell you what. You'd be some nice eye candy there, strong Don't through. Say that. Are you talking to me or Trish? <laughs> <laughs> what did you refer to Cooper as Sicker. earlier? Malnourished. Uh, That's malnourished. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. it's it's funny that people. Um, that Charlie, listen to she's our just podcast. doing the rounds, getting yeah, a cuddle of everyone. Um, it's funny that people listen and go, "God, that's a wholesome family." <gasps> My God, what are their families like? Yeah, there must be some there's very pretty, horrible families out there. Well, there's some pretty... Shout out to the Malats. Crazy <laughs> families out hey, there. Hey, look, look. Don't tate them all, okay? Just, you know, Do you know what, one though, bad egg. I, I'd like to point out to people that we don't always get on and we fight. And oh, we've yeah. been fighting a lot. Yeah, this oh, yeah. is the best of us. Yeah, it is when we're here. It actually is. Yeah, it is. is when it, we get in here, all Like, fights. we get the shits. Yeah. This is... We, we find it as a... I would actually say that for families fighting... Get in the room, get some mics and yeah. just start a podcast. Even if you don't post it, just do it. Get a mic in front of you because once we do, we no one's fighting really, no. is it? And you're actually Afterwards. listening to each other and mm. that's what doesn't happen in this house so, yeah, a lot. Yeah. Like, oh, is that again? So what uh, – Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, you um, – when you sit here and listen to each other, you find out new things. You get a greater uh, appreciation or a greater insight into what people are like. Like Jack is very understated. 
uh, Cooper, ticket man, he's got tickets on himself. And Trisha is mm. really annoying. Yeah, I, keep, keep <laughs> yeah. I don't think we needed to come oh. in here to realise that. Though. Yeah. Oh. Good call. Oh, there she goes. And uh, Matt's in a lot of and trouble. This is, yeah, and this is what happens outside of this room, people. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, good one. Uh, that, I hope you enjoyed that one today. I'm going to the pub now. Yeah. Honest. I, uh, I'm yeah, going to go to the pub. It's my girlfriend's house. birthday. Who? Oh, I'm out of here. Are you going? Are you in Rosemary well, across the road, the Italian connection? We've got something going on. Really? You just need to. We know. might just stretch this out a little longer then. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm busy. I have a date. Have you? What? Wow. Oh, yeah. A date? Yeah. With a man? No, with Rosemary. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. You're not quick to catch on, are you? Now, people, remember Valentine's Day, don't go spending a whole lot of money. Do something. Just do something nice and thoughtful. To spend nothing, actually. No, yeah. like just do like a picnic in the lounge room. Just something oh, nice. What a picnic you don't in the have lounge to. Room. That sounds. What are you a communist? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be a rainy week, so I thought. Well, down here in New South Wales, Sydney. So, um, you know, just just be thoughtful. Awesome. Take <laughs> some care. Yeah. And if you uh, take anything out of that, you're a f***ing idiot. <laughs> have a good week, people. <laughs>